Good morning, Centurions. I'm Andrew Sutherland, and today is Tuesday, March 28th. And I'm Hayden Trowbridge, and this is SNN. Coming up today, we continue Women's History Month with Sacagawea by Jake Schick, and stay updated on the new Performing Arts Center with me. Today is also National Manatee Appreciation Day. I will now begin to demonstrate the sounds of a manatee. Wait, no, no, we don't need to hear that. Please stand for the pledge. Please stand for the flag salute. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. SNN is selling promposal announcements and videos. If you would like your promposal announcement to be aired right here on SNN or to have your promposal filmed to air on SNN, you can come down to D5 for more information. Promposal announcements are $3 and videos are $5. The deadline to sign up for the SAT is April 7th. If you're interested, visit the website listed below. Speaking of deadlines, the last day to sign up for the ACT is coming up fast. The June 10th, the June test deadline is May 5th. You can register online at the website below. Prom will be held at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in Simi Valley on Saturday, April 29th. Tickets will be $130 with an ASB card and $135 without an ASB card. Buy your tickets early as the price will increase next week. The last day to buy tickets will be April 21st. Remember, the dance is not included in the dance pack. Now let's go to Jake Freeman with your sports news. Good morning, Centurions. I'm Jake Freeman with your sports news. Softball plays Alamany today at Saugus. Varsity plays at 315. Boys volleyball plays Golden Valley today at Saugus. Varsity plays at 530 p.m. and JV plays at 430 p.m. Boys tennis competes against Valencia today. Varsity plays at Valencia at 3 p.m. Baseball plays Golden Valley tomorrow. Varsity plays at 315 p.m. at Saugus. JV plays at 4 p.m. at Golden Valley and Frosh play at 7 p.m. at Golden Valley too. Boys Golf plays Canyon tomorrow at TPC at 1 p.m. Swim and Dive take a dip against Canyon on Thursday. They compete at the Aquatic Center at 3 p.m. Track and Field runs against Valencia at Wednesday on Valencia at 3 p.m. Good luck to all Centurion athletes. The first annual March Madness 2 on 2 basketball tournament is here. If you're interested, meet on the outdoor basketball courts at lunch. Prizes like Final Four tickets and lunch will be given to the winning teams. Sacagawea is not just an important influence to women today, but a major influence on the history of America. Please stay tuned. Sacagawea, born in the state of Idaho in the 1790s, laid down a significant legacy that changed the future of America forever. Joined by a tribe called the Shushuns, otherwise known as the Snake People, was stolen by the Hidatsa tribe, taking her away from her homeland all the way to North Dakota. Despite the childhood hardship, she was eventually bought by Shirobano, her soon to become husband. Planning to join the Lewis and Clark expedition, Shirobano also took along Sacagawea, who was pregnant during that time with the first child. Throughout the expedition, Sacagawea became a huge importance as she directed the settlers all over the western frontier, giving out translations and pointing out key places. One incident recorded Sacagawea saving valuable documents and instruments that fell in the water during a boat crash while also carrying her early born child strapped to her back. She also brought them back to her old tribe in which she had not seen for years so the expeditionists could obtain travel on horseback. Everyone on the expedition fell in love with Sacagawea as she contributed to a huge part of their success and even characterized her as being helpful and cheerful during a time of hardship. Sacagawea has left a legacy that will never be forgotten in the history of America. Sacagawea was more than just a person who helped contribute to an important expedition, but a woman who displayed her true colors during a time when people needed her the most. Reporting for SNN, this has been Jake Schick. Sacagawea was a major influence on our country today. Summer school applications are now available. If you're interested, applications are available in the counseling office. 
Cosmetology applications are now available in the Career and College Readiness Office. Current juniors interested in starting cosmetology this summer should see Ms. Dahlquist in the counseling area to pick up an application and learn more about the program. And now for your senior news. You are now able to apply for the Santa Cruz Valley Scholarship Foundation. Thousands of dollars will be awarded to seniors. To apply, download the application at the website below. Senior slideshow photos are due by Friday. Seniors can submit all photos between freshman year and now. You can submit your photos through the Senior Slideshow Twitter account at SHSSeniorPick17 or by email listed below. The Senior Slideshow is also included in your graduation pack. We'll be right back after this. Yearbook applications are due Thursday, March 30th. The applications can be accessed through the yearbook website, http yearbook.blogspot.com. If you're interested in traveling to the Galapagos in June of 2018, there's an information and enrollment meeting for students and their parents tonight in Ms. Rosella's room in X2411 at 6 p.m. Contact Ms. Rosella or Ms. Winkler with any questions. Now let's go to Hayden Trowbridge with an update on the recent Performing Arts Center construction. Yes, I'm Hayden Trowbridge reporting for SNN. Inside this blue construction fez is a masterpiece in the working. Let's take a look. This is the Forum. Projected to complete on February 19, 2018, the Forum will be a standing theater for the multiple classes on campus, such as improv, theater, and choir. We'll be performing to the over 400 people that can occupy its seats. We have a number of different programs that have a need to seat a lot of people. We've been using the S Lecture Hall and the NPR. Many other clubs, shows, and other events will also take place here. So, what's with the name Forum? This Forum, uh, it should be understood, is the, the root word of the Forum in the Roman times was the gathering place of the people. And that's what we're doing. This is our gathering place. Over the next couple of weeks, the metal and rebar that is currently seen will begin to look like the forum we will all enjoy. It is a place for the people. It's a place for the school. And it's a place I want kids to uh, embrace us. It's their own. It's, this is their place. I want them to be proud of it. I can't wait. wait until next year when it's done. The administration would like to remind all students that park in the neighborhood not to block trash cans on trash day. Also, do not move trash cans to the sidewalk to make space for your vehicle. Tomorrow, Diana Toll, a Coast Guard recruiter, will be holding a meeting on campus. If you are interested, you can go to the counseling office to sign up. Don't forget, everyone is allowed to vote for executive candidates this week, regardless of grade level, except for seniors, of course. But remember to bring your ID card this Friday to vote. That's all for today. I'm Hayden Trowbridge. Stay tuned for SNN Radio and Saugus Today. And I'm Andrew Sutherland. Don't forget to visit saugusnewsnetwork.com to keep up on the latest news on campus. Have a great day.